Someday soon, I'll find an official spot to vlog and it won't be so bare and sad. Hey everybody, Merry Christmas! I'm Catholic, so we like to party, and Christmas starts on the 25th, and then that whole 12 days of Christmas song, like, that starts on the 25th, and it lasts until Epiphany in January, so it is still well within the exciting uh, season of Christmas, so Merry Christmas! Um, but, however, <laughs> the New Year is coming up, and so I wanted to talk for a few minutes about New Year's resolutions. Um, I know some people probably have given up on the whole institution of New Year's resolutions. Other people uh, are dreamers and like to make really big sweeping ones every year. Um, I used to kind of be that way. I always like the opportunity, uh, the excuse for a good goal setting. Um, I think, you know, I probably at some point was the kind of naive person who set unrealistic goals. Um, but I found pretty quickly, I think, um, that goals are a lot more satisfying if you can actually fulfill them. So I always try to make a goal that is like just a little bit beyond what I think is reasonable. Um, and that way I have to work hard to accomplish it, but it's also like doable. Um, I really love the feeling of accomplishing goals and that's a lot easier when you actually have an accomplishable goal. So it's not something um, abstract like you know, lose weight, it's lose X number of pounds in X number of time or whatever. That's an example. I've never actually been on a diet personally, but um, yeah, so what I do, what I have done for the last two or three years and has worked well for me is instead of setting New Year's resolutions um, for like the whole year, because I think most of us can relate to the experience of starting out with all the best intentions in the world, but then dropping out after a few weeks or months, uh, after things get a little bit tricky and difficult, maybe you fail a couple times and you don't want to start again. Um, instead of setting new New Year's resolutions, I have been setting new month resolutions for the last few years. Um, and I have found that that system has worked really well for me. Um, it has a few benefits. One is that like a month's goal is a lot more attainable uh, than a whole year's goal. It's like it's easier, it's done within a twelfth of the time, and so it's like achievable, it's close, you can feel it, you can taste it, you know? Um, it's also like it's small scale, it helps me to focus on like one thing at a time. Instead of picking twelve resolutions for the whole year, I just pick one resolution for the month and then I can focus on that one thing. Um, they say it takes, what, three weeks to set a, um, a habit? And so then I guess you have an extra week to enjoy the new habit that you've set. Um, and so I've used the New Year's resolution within my bullet journal system, or sorry, the, the monthly resolutions within my bullet journal system as sort of a focus for the month. Um, you may have noticed that if you've been following any of my videos over the last several months. Um, but yeah, that is something that, uh, that works for me. So I was just going to share like some of the ones and where I used it. This um, is the long-term collection from my personal size uh, traveler's notebook. This was with me from January 26, sorry, January 2017 uh, through to Oct September, to the end of September, and then I moved into the pocket size, uh, which is here. Um, and there's some months that I don't have any resolutions at all. That's the other thing. That's the other benefit, right? Is if you skip a month, then it's not like you're out for like the whole year. You can just pick up the next month if you want to set another resolution. Another resolution. For example, December is crazy for us with the moving and the holidays and all of that. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm setting a resolution for this month. Uh, I didn't for November either. Um, I may have for October, but let me see. Um, yeah, so what I actually have here is my future log, the beginning of, here's the index. The future log starts here and it's one month per page. And then I added at the bottom here a little resolution section. And so there's room for two. And so sometimes I have like one project and one habit. So let's see what I did. Um, in, I didn't have January uh, in here because why do you need it? I already had the monthly set up, you know? Anyway, starting with February, uh, my resolution says car volume knob, which was a project that I had been putting off for like a year, um, probably longer. The uh, volume knob in my car was broken and I needed to replace it. 
So that was a project. And then Inko Raimo was like a daily, I guess it was a habit it was that I was working on uh, writing a letter uh, once a day for the month of February. Um, I'll probably, eh, I'll consider doing it again next February. And if I do, I will be sure to talk about it on YouTube. Um, then for March, I have cro crochet tutorial series. That was the videos that kind of started this whole ball rolling. Um, I needed to work on those. And I think the goal for that was to film as many as I could. Um, and I then was releasing them once a week and that worked pretty well. I got pretty close to accomplishing that goal and it was, it felt really good to have that as something that had been sort of weighing on my back for a while. Um, April's pretty easy, just says Clotta Ring Refinish. That's this ring here. It belonged to my Nana. It was my something old in the wedding, uh, but it was getting kind of beaten up and scratched up. It's just a sterling silver ring. So I took it to the goldsmith and got it refinished and it was like a weekend's worth of like phone calls and you know errands but you know it was something that had been in the back of my mind something that I wanted to get done for a long time that's what's working well with these uh, resolutions is that it's something that like doesn't take that much effort but I have to actually make it happen so if it's my monthly goal then I can really make sure it happens uh, let's see May I was working on um, trying to do some stretching so I picked a stretching regimen and I had stuck to it Every single day in May, I did these stretches. It was supposed to give me more flexibility in my hips, and I was supposed to be able to do the splits at the end of it. I could not, and then I stopped doing them. But at least I did it for May. Uh, June's kind of fell through. I was going to spend like a minute of silence every day, and even that, I couldn't stand. I couldn't do it. July, I was working on a knitting project. The llama socks that I was knitting during Comic Con. If you go back and watch those vlogs. You'll see the socks, I show them there. Uh, they unfortunately got eaten by my sister's dog uh, the next time we were down there visiting. And I have not started trying to uh, rescue the yarn since then, but I made some good progress. Huh. Let's see, August vibe recall. Yeah, my car needed some recalls taken care of and those had been on my back for years um, and it was very good. To finally finish it. Then September, uh, read GTD, which uh, you will have noticed I did manage to do uh, over the course of that September's Minimalist Bujo Challenge. Um, and then after that, I haven't, uh, I took a couple months off. October, November, December, December, I didn't do any resolutions, but having it on my future log, having like a space for it, really helped because it reminded me when I was going at the beginning of the month to go over the you know events and tasks that I had set up for myself. I also saw this space and went, huh, what can I do uh, for this month for my resolution? And I would pull that from <laughs> this page called procrastination. This page used to be a section on my monthly back in my moleskin bujo. Um, and it was that list of things, you know, like the recall on the car, getting the ring refinished, stuff like that that I had been wanting to do. It was, you know, went in a brain dump onto my to-do list and uh, it didn't seem like things that should be that difficult, but there was like, there's like physical difficulty of something that's like heavy. There's, you know, just like time sunk into something kind of difficulty where it's just gonna take a long time. And then there's just like this sort of emotional um, difficulty, psychological difficulty, things that require phone calls and that kind of thing um, always seem a lot bigger and more difficult to me than they really are. They end up being, you know, less time intensive than I fear they could be and probably not as difficult, um, like emotionally as I imagine they'll be. I just don't like making phone calls. So um, this procrastination list is mostly checked off. Uh, there's a few things on there that I didn't get to that are probably, now that I look at it, not really things that I'm worried about too much. Um, so it's pretty good. I can also take a look at my crafts page. There's a sort of a list of ongoing craft projects that are un incomplete or uh, not even started yet. Um, and those can be good resolutions. Uh, resolutions can be any sort of habit you want to form. You know, make it something concrete and something that you can do within a month. Maybe even something that you don't mind dropping the habit after the month. Because you have that satisfaction of saying, look, I wrote in my journal every day during January. That's great. That was what the goal is. If I keep it up in February, that's fantastic. It's a bonus. But if I don't, 
then there's a different goal. For February, I'm meditating or stretching or reading a particular book or whatever it is. Like, it's something that it's like a tangible goal. And I think that's really good. And I think it's a lot more effective than having a resolution for the whole year for me personally. And I think probably for some people it might be worth considering as an option. Not saying that New Year's resolutions might not work for some people, but I think new month resolutions can also be a great way uh, to keep that momentum going throughout the year. So I hope that you found that interesting. Um, I will be back on Sunday for the next video. I think I'm going to be showing you some of my trip to Phoenix. Um, I am currently probably in Phoenix as this is going out. So uh, I will show you that and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.